Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, as we are playing with the Lusignan Dynasty in our roleplay campaign. So, let's go to get started. Last episode, we uh, ended it by requesting to rank up here, still waiting on that response. Uh, so, one of the things I wanted to go ahead and do, starting the episode out, is uh, one person brought up the fact that we could do the, the find characters uh, feature uh, to find some, some of the men uh, that we might be able to bring into our court uh, so I don't have to hire anybody. Uh, you know, maybe perhaps somebody that we could hand a title to uh, or, you know, add to our council. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, they've changed this a while back. Uh, and I, I think the person I was talking to wasn't entirely familiar on, on the change to this. Uh, there's actually a setting on whether or not you want to allow... Um, to have an open or a, have a default setting. Now, the default setting is uh, the new setting where characters will no longer accept your invitation to go to their court, or to your court, unless they have a good reason to. Uh, if you have it the old setting, which is considered the open setting, uh, then pretty much characters almost always accept coming to your court, and that's the way it used to be. So we've set it to look at just men here uh, of our religion, of our culture, uh, and that are willing to join our court. And you'll notice there's not very many options. There's not a lot of choices, but you know what, guys? These are uh, a lot of people that could help us out right now. Now, as far as bringing somebody to the court uh, just to, to give them a title, eh, I don't think that would be wise. Uh, just some guy we don't even know, and we're just going to give him a title. Uh, but we could use this feature to kind of fix some of the problems that we have here uh, where we're lacking uh, certain abilities. Now, the one that I'm seeing here, obviously, both both the Intrigue here skill and the Stewardship are pretty garbage, but of course, one of those guys uh, is our friend, I think. Uh, let me make sure that's him. No, it seems that he's our friend. All right, so we can get rid of both of these guys. So let's take a look and see if there's a better Steward. There is not, but I do see some better guys when it comes to it Intrigue. Uh, so this guy's pretty decent here. Uh, Simon de Montfort. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so, no, that's... Is that the Simon de Montfort? Uh, mate, no, 32. I don't actually know. How, I don't know when he was born. This is around the right time. It could be him. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, so if you don't know who Simon de Montfort is, uh, you can look him up. Uh, on you know, do a little Google search, uh, but I don't know if this is him. Uh, he has some shitty, shitty traits. Uh, he's a craven. Uh, yeah, he's he's got some garbage traits. He's in hiding as well. That's probably why he's willing to come to our, our court because he's scared. Uh, but yeah, let's let's invite him to our court. Uh, I don't know if that's that's a wise decision. Uh, if it is the Simon de Montfort. Let me see. You know what? There's a Wikipedia link right here. Uh, I am in fact going to check that. So the Wikipedia link is actually broken. It, it linked to a completely different character it didn't have the same damn name i don't know uh why that was but i did look him up real quick i googled googled uh the historical simon de montfort and there was actually a lot of simon de montforts but obviously i'm talking about the the famous one and he was born in 1208 as this one is so this is the simon de montfort that gave england so many problems so of course we're gonna invite him to our court why wouldn't we uh, he's just a really cool historical character to have in the court, I think. So, yeah, let's invite him. Uh, and I don't think we'll invite anybody else. I think that's fine. Uh, and then, uh, to the Righteous Crusader, Hugh, may you live in harmony and content. He accepted our gracious invitation, and he's arrived at our court. Awesome. He brought his wife, too. All right, so I think we'll go ahead and appoint him. I know that this is super stupid if you guys know any of the, anything about the historical. Uh, you know, where, where'd he go? Is he not an option? Hmm. Yeah, he's not an option here. Maybe we can't appoint him because he's new? I don't know. All right, well, we'll just wait a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll try and point him again. That's the only reason why I brought him here, though, is to make him our spy master. But it doesn't look like that's an option at this moment. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, we'll just give it some time, perhaps. And there we go. We have advanced in the next order as well. It is my privilege. So one of the things I wanted to do here in the beginning, guys, is go ahead and cancel this build a church mission, because we are never going to complete it. Now, I knew when I took it that I probably wasn't gonna be able to do it, but I thought maybe with loans we could make it happen. But man, uh, we just do not earn enough money. Uh, so I think that we should go ahead and cancel it, because that is keeping us from getting any further missions that we could uh, use to increase our devotion. And, and plus there's some pretty cool missions in a lot of these societies. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead and cancel that. It's a bummer that we weren't able to complete it, uh, but not surprising though. 
Uh, we're also going to go ahead and, and request council position again. We'll try this again, see if it works. I did want to show you guys our our uh, lieges, uh, vassals. Uh, so if you, you look here, the, the most important va vassal, or most powerful vassal, is uh, this duke who holds right, Thibault, Duke Thibault. He holds two dukedom titles, so that's why he is at the top there. Uh, of course, we know our good friend Raymond over here, who we're hoping to arrange a marriage with. He is the second most powerful duke. Uh, and then Hugh of Burgundy is uh, number three. Then we have uh, Normandy is four, Flanders is five, and then we are six. There are six council positions, so therefore we should be on the goddamn council. Uh, so, because uh, he has an advisor uh, council position. So we are going to go ahead and ask, uh, request that, and hopefully he'll consider it. And it was a definite no. Well, what a shame. But at least he didn't lie to us like his father did. He was honest with us. Told us that we ain't getting a goddamn fucking council seat. Uh, remember, there's still this conflict here against the Spanish, uh, which I, apparently he's a witch hunter. So if you guys recall last episode, we did approve our marshal to uh, you know work on a special advancement here. And he came up with the armored chariot. Uh, so this is going to increase our military technology points. I'll let you guys read that if you so desire. I live my life as other men do, navigating its rocks and obstacles, doing my best to achieve success in my endeavors. Still, everything we do takes place in the light of God, and we must take care lest the influence of Lucifer comes into our lives. Indeed, it is so, which would gain us piety. I should ponder this more deeply, which would give us even more piety. Or these religious ponderings give me a headache. Uh, well, let's... Obviously, we're not going with that. Uh, we should ponder this this further, I think. Uh, try and get that piety up. Uh, right now, our piety is, is decent. It's not bad. Uh, oops, I didn't realize that was paused. Uh, it's a slightly higher than our prestige right now. And that is that is not too bad, I would say, uh, for our character. Uh, and got another event popping up here. Yet another morning when I wake up feeling as tired as when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I need to spend more time alone. Uh, I think that this time we will seclude ourselves in, in prayer and meditation. And... And that does mean that our wife will take over as regent. Uh, and it does seem that because we did that, uh, oh, well, never mind. Uh, but we'll have to pick another ambition because we did that. Uh, or maybe that's because we got denied uh, for the uh, spot on our lieges council. So I've gained myself, I've gained a newfound respect for the hermits of old. My time spent fasting and praying and praying in seclusion has done me good. God has helped me strengthen my mind. Uh, so this has gained us a hundred piety, and we might get the temperate trait which is a pretty decent trait. And we did, we got it, excellent. All right, so our character is now temperate. Uh, so we believe in moderation in everything. All right, so good to know, something to consider for our future decisions. Uh, we do need to go ahead and pick an ambition. I don't know what we're gonna pick here because we did fail with the, the counselor one uh, and I don't think we're gonna become the king of Aquitaine either. Uh, yeah, I don't see us building a war chest. You know what? I really don't. I'm just gonna put this one back in there. It's fine. Uh, although, you know, obviously our king has no desire uh, to give us a title, and we did get a new name. We are Hugh the Monk. All right. Well, I suppose that's fitting. Uh, I suppose we do have a minor title. We are the master of hunt and uh, master of the hunt in France. So I, I suppose there's that. My friend became aghast when I told him that I had sent the miller's boy to a nearby city with my finest Stalin. You will never see that horse again, he said, utterly convinced. But he was wrong, of course, because miller boy is loyal. You should teach him a thing about loyalty. Uh, so the Pope has died. Uh, we got a new Pope, and looks like there's another rebellion here, another French revolt. A uh, very large revolt as well, uh, which is actually pretty bad. Is that like a faction revolt? That might be a faction revolt or something, because, uh, yeah, there are... That's a lot of troops, and I want to say, I don't know where the fuck the French army is. I was going to say they were down here, but I'm not seeing them. So yeah, I don't know where the hell they're at. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the problem. It must be like a faction revolt. I haven't really been looking at the factions uh, for the Kingdom of France. Uh, I'm sure many popped up, though, because of, of this. I'm assuming that, yes, they did change all this up. Uh, it looks like the leaders are different here. It, it, yeah, it does seem that some powerful, uh, yeah, maybe some powerful dukes have uh, rebelled. Uh, just taking a look at this, actually, let's go ahead and go into the realms. Because I want to see who has rebelled. All right, so this is the rebellion right here. That's a very large rebellion, guys. That is essentially, when you're not counting our lands, that is at least half of the realm. Yeah, that is serious. I guess I guess there's this down here. Never mind. But it's almost half. It's quite a bit. 
Uh, so that's a serious rebellion, guys. I don't know that he'll win. Uh, what is the rebellion over? Just out of curiosity, uh, it is putting Prince Philip on the throne. So is Philip uh, one of his brothers? I'm not entirely sure. No, it's not his brother. Or that's his child, excuse me. Not a sibling. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I have no idea who Prince Philip is. Uh, oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong guy. My bad. Uh, <laughs> that's my bad. I meant to look at him. Uh, let's take a look here. It is still not a brother. All right. I'm not entirely sure who this Prince Philip guy is. Yeah, I have no idea who he is. Oh, right here. Here we go. It's actually one of his friends. It's the Duke of Normandy. <laughs> it's one of his best friends. And uh, he rebelled against him. That's fucked up. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can't trust anybody these days, guys. Uh, so in October of this year, we will be able to change our laws. So that's going to be the next thing that we're going to be doing. I haven't decided exactly which law we're going to be changing just yet. Uh, and, oh, nice. So that means that uh, one of our, our bishops did die. So we actually are going to want to to nominate all of our, uh, you know, all of the appointments here. So we're going to need a new, a new priest. Uh, I wonder if we can't find somebody who's priestly. Uh, with our fine character system here. Uh, so if we can't find somebody who's fitting uh, for the job, uh, well, detached priest ain't gonna be able to do it. We have a scholarly theologian. He's the court chaplain here. He's willing, maybe willing to come to our court if we're willing to give him a bit of gold, uh, which I'm not. So let's instead do Nicholas. He's a dutiful cleric. Uh, he's got some, some problems. How about everybody has as negatives and positives. Yeah, let's go ahead and invite him to the court, I think, and we'll place him. Uh, so let's invite him to the court, and then we'll have him become the next bishop. Uh, lucky him. I always imagined I'd be the first of us to go, but now I'm the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear, oh, I didn't realize he was our friend. Yeah, that was one of our pals, man. Yep, yeah, I didn't realize that. Never again will I hear his jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. So we can spend an evening getting drunk. Um, let's drink in his honor. Leave me alone. I don't want your sympathies. As a result of us being uh, depressed, our friendship will only hurt you in the end. Uh, and this will distance us ourselves from our two friends. I would... I don't, I don't think it's fitting for him to, to drink. And I don't like the idea that this, this friendship will, will only hurt you in the end. But... Once again, I feel like our character is kind of pulling further and further away from the material world. Uh, and on top of that, I don't really want to be Motmut's friend anymore uh, because we've had nothing but difficulties with him, honestly, uh, unfortunately. So I think that we are going to have to, we're going to do this one. And I don't really have any any special tie to him, I suppose. I remember he's from that event system there. So I think that will fit better. We have no friends left in the world, uh, but that's okay. We only need God in our lives. And uh, that cleric has accepted our invitation, uh, which is excellent. Let's go ahead and get him placed. Point him as the successor here. Uh, we actually had somebody here. Oh, never mind. This is the court physician. That's the doctor. Never mind. I'll take that back. He won't work. He will not do. All right, so we're going to appoint the new guy. We can go ahead and pass a law. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we want to pass either... I think we should probably pass the centralization law, honestly. Yeah, because not only does this affect your opinion, uh, the opinion of your vassals, it also affects the taxes. So we could be earning a bit more money if we increase centralization a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yes. Um, well, we should probably take a look if they're going to pass it. I believe everybody was willing to pass it. Yeah, we have full support here. Uh, so should pass that with ease. And hopefully... We'll be making better money. I don't know how much it affects it. I, I suppose we'll find out. Yeah, looks like it affects it by quite a bit. Uh, so we could have been earning a lot more money uh, if we had given some of these out, some of these titles out. And I knew that was a, uh, a factor, but I didn't know how important it was. That doubled our money uh, just by having uh, one extra size limit there. Our betrothed can marry. So our son can finally marry. She did live. Uh, oh, one of the things I noticed, guys, and this is awesome. She's uncouth as well. They're made for each other, guys. Look at that. They're going to be dirty, nasty uh, people together. That's awesome. So she won't even mind. Because, uh, well, looks like they still mind a little bit. Uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's much worse than if they weren't uh, both uncouth. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and arrange this marriage. And it'll be a glorious day. 
All right, so they're getting married. We can collect a royal A duty to pay for the ceremonies. Uh, we can say, yes, it's everyone's concern, or, or no, uh, people respect uh, wealth. Uh, I say uh, that given our traits, I think it makes far more sense to, to not take the money. Uh, we'll take the prestige. And she has agreed the marriage. And so now she is our wife's son. That's excellent. And she so she has moved to his court, which means we no longer have uh, control of him anymore. Uh, we could, of course, have given him a title so that didn't end up happening. Uh, but it's too late now. You can't do that. So he's just going to be living in her court. Uh, which is, it can be frustrating because a lot of times I, I you watch your characters get ruined when they leave your court. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but this is a role play game, so we are just going to live with it. And you know what? We got to be kind of honest. It can be a little bit funner when you're playing as a shitty character. Um, <laughs> no, obviously. I'm having fun as our, our religious hue here, but ah, I'd like a nice little change of pace. Maybe somebody who's not so spiritual. I've encountered... Commissus Adalbert, many times while carrying out my duties for the Benedictine Order. It is always a pleasant occasion. We can talk for hours if the time allows because he never bores me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. Alright, so we could gain another friend. I suppose. Sure. Why not? He seems to be just as much into religious matters as we are. So it looks like we got another mission. God's blessing upon thee. Bringing the true faith salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. So they want us to construct a new church. And this is what I was worried about. Is that they're going to keep on giving me damn build the new church mission. So we're just going to have to decline it. That's a very uh, popular mission, I've noticed. Uh, seem to get a lot of those. Oops. Our wife has died. Oh my god. We lost Isabel. We lost her, guys. Damn, that's quite sad. She died a natural death. I didn't expect us to go before her. We are a year younger. Uh, or I didn't expect her to go before me, I meant. I thought we would, given the fact that we have cancer. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a shame. We lost our wife. We were married for quite some time. Uh, I don't think it would be fitting for us to, to get another wife. Uh, I, I don't think that that makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, but let me just take a look at our uh, successors. Yeah, it looks like we have plenty of, of heirs. Uh, and once again, if our son was to die and he was, we, he was to succeed, that would actually increase our lands substantially. That'd give us three new counts, uh, counties. So, so it's not entirely a bad thing. Plus, he has plenty of children uh, as well. So, so yeah, I think it's it's okay that we don't have any more children. We're 53 years old. I think it's fine. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we can. Oh, we don't have the ability yet, do we? Let me just take a look here. I thought we did have the ability. Yeah, we could take a vow of celibacy if we wanted to, and I think that makes sense. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do that, that you just right-click on yourself, but apparently you don't. The only other thing I think of is that it's going to be in here. Uh, so let's just take a look and see if we can find it. Uh, find the decision. We could also go on a pilgrimage. Somebody else brought that up. Uh, and you know what? I think that would make sense. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, we could also donate to charity as well. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a vow of celibacy. And I've decided to show my devotion to God in order by taking, uh, and the order by taking a vow. So we'll see. Okay, I think that makes sense for our character, uh, and that does give us uh, some very good bonuses to uh, piety and Christian church opinion, as well as same trade opinion. Uh, so, so yeah, I think that was a useful decision. Now let's, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's go ahead and do the pilgrimage, guys. I think it makes sense while we're still able to. And let's start our travel plans. Uh, so we do have to pick where we want to go on pilgrimage to. There are a number of different holy places that you can visit on your pilgrimage. All of them are considered most sacred by the Holy Church, but a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. So we can visit the holy site in the west, uh, visit a holy site in the west. We can go to one of the ancient sites, Jerusalem or Rome, or we can seek out a saintly burial site. Uh, we are going to be doing this one, one of the ancient sites. Uh, Jerusalem and Rome are the two oldest and holiest places of the Catholic Church. Now we've we've been to the Holy Land. You know, we went on there in Crusade. I guess we were actually in Anatolia. I suppose we didn't go to the Holy Land. Uh, but we have been in the area. We've been somewhere around there. Uh, but the Muslims are in control of here. And you know what? I think it makes sense to, to go to Rome. Uh, it's not too far away. We are an older man. I think it makes more sense to go to Rome. So let's let's visit Rome. Uh, and it's like our daughter-in-law has bought a favor from our son. Okay. You'd think that that would come with the marriage. Uh, my things are packed. Everything is in order. Soon I will walk the streets of the Eternal City and see all of its marvels. My journey begins. 
right, and yes, our spy master was appointed as our regent. I didn't actually get to pick a regent, so uh, when our when our wife died, we should have done that. Uh, but he'll do as uh, the regent for now, I suppose. Uh, and I did want to take a look and see if I can switch him out, um, although he'd be kind of irritated at us. Uh, it seems that we cannot dismiss the regent from Ossus. Okay, we'll just have to do it when we get back. Uh, as you stop to make camp near a river crossing along with other pilgrims, you observe a group of builders working on a new bridge just upstream. You walk up to them and see that the arches of the bridge are already half completed. The master builder notices your interest and walks up to you and offers to tell you about the construction techniques they are using. All right, uh, Nobles Build Council, this is for peasant. This is for peasants. That would give us the proud trade. Or you can tell me more about this. Yes, tell me more. I want to learn about it. During the last couple of days, you have made company on the road with the Holy Knight on his way to the same destination. You have lively and interesting conversations, and you find that you have many things in common. How unexpected to make a new friend this far from home. So we can have a new friend? Sure. Let's take a look at him. Uh, this is Wizlaw Wizlawid. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love it. I love the name, man. The fucking wizard. All right. Yeah, I'm digging it. Uh, does he have any important family members? Seems that his... Oh, okay, he's like the, the younger brother of a count. Oh, his brother's a duke now. All right, interesting. Okay, uh, and we, he's from far off, too. Uh, so, Rome. You have finally arrived at Rome. As you enter the internal city, you are struck by the many ancient buildings and monuments that you pass by. It is truly impressive. You try to imagine how the, apost uh, the apostles felt when they first came here on their holy mission at a time when the city's power was at its peak. Though large areas seem to be depopulated, the city still boasts an impressive population concentrated around the Tiber River. The holy sites you want to visit are primarily the Basilicas of St. Peter and St. Paul, as well as other early churches and places connected to the martyrs. You should uh, you start making your way to the center of the city, hoping that you won't get lost in the traffic as the crowds start to get more dense. A thousand roads lead men forever to Rome. The stories of other pilgrims all spoke of how impressive this place is. Now that you see it with your own eyes, you can only join in their praise. You're glad that you came here to one of Christianity's holiest places. It was a well worth the journey. Gained us a bit of piety as well. Probably take us a bit of time to get home. And you have finally returned from your pilgrimage. It was a rewarding and interesting journey. You'll do it all again if you could. Still, it's good to be back home. It's a great experience. Uh, we gained piety, plus we gained the pilgrim trait, most importantly, uh, which is more piety and same faith opinion. And the Regency has ended. Uh, so what I would like to do, yeah, I don't even know why I'd request it. He already told us no. And I don't think he changed, you know what? He might actually change his stance now that his, the whole country is in rebellion. You know what? This is a great time to, to ask for such a position. Uh, so we will go ahead and ask him. Uh, and then I also wanted to see if I can't appoint, you know what? I don't know why I can't appoint that guy, um, that we had gotten here. You have no idea why he's not available. Hmm. That's, that's weird. Can I point him to another position? Just, no, it doesn't seem I can. Oh, okay. I think it's because he's in hiding right now. That's why. All right, that makes perfect sense. I don't know if he'll ever come out of hiding. Uh, I guess we'll find out here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's been in hiding for years. He is a coward, so I guess it makes sense. And yeah, there's nobody else to appoint to these positions, but yeah, we, we don't have great great advisors man advisors are terrible yeah there's nobody here um well i mean just these two i suppose are the, the worst ones um but yeah they're they're very important ones both the the steward and spy master so it's a shame that they're they're kind of garbage uh well that's that's it for now i suppose rulers unmarried but yeah we're we're fine with that obviously uh the answer regarding the position of the council of the king yeah was a definite no yeah he has continued to tell us no he is not interested uh in bringing us into his council it's a shame. Uh, though, wait a minute. It sounds like he has changed his mind. He'd like to give us a seat on the council as his spy master. It's a terrible decision. It's our worst trait. It's uh, the worst trait out of all of them. We're one intrigue. Oh, he ain't gonna know anything about his lands. Uh, there, people are just gonna be like, hatch plots easily. Uh, I accept the position, even though it's not a good position for me. I just want to have the ear of the king uh, so that we can speak spiritual words into into his ears. Uh, so we fulfilled the ambition to become a counselor, uh, which is excellent. And we can pick another ambition. I don't think there's any ambitions that we really care about, guys, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I guess we can do the acquire title uh, position. Uh, we won't, I don't know that we'll ask for one, though. 
obviously, uh, our king is kind of busy right now. So I don't think we'll ask for one, though I would love to get this title here and allow us to extend our lands. Uh, does he like us? Yeah, he likes us for the most part. Um, we could always sway him as well to increase the opinion uh, with a good old King Louis IX. Uh, we want to get as much influence with them as we can. I want to lead them towards uh, pious life, guys. So one thing I'd like to check... Oh, wait a minute. We have something happen here. Uh, yet another morning... Way. Okay, we already read this one. Uh, so we can go into seclusion again. Uh, sure. We'll go into seclusion. And I forgot to appoint a region again. Uh, one thing I wanted to check, though, is if we have had... Is that it? All right, more piety. Awesome. Uh, I want to check to see if our son has had a son. He has. We now have a grandchild, and his name is Hugh. He knew to name his child Hugh. Well, that's that's brilliant. Very happy about that. Wasn't sure if he would name, if he would know. Uh, message about request council support. So, this guy wants us to uh, support him in the council. I'm going to have to decline, my friend. I don't know what you want, and I'm sure it's something that's not good for our king. I'm trying to lead our king to the light here. And I can't be having you cause more problems, though it does seem that our king has lost France, guys. This would be if I was a more ambitious character, not an old man that really only cares about his soul, then this would be a fantastic time to rebel. This would be a great time. Uh, if I wasn't playing like a roleplay campaign, this would be the time to, to rebel and to uh, gain our freedom. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, okay, we prosper. Uh, according to our marshal, the peasants of La Marche are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. He's, he suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads. Peasantry would feel much safer. It might even lead to more peasantry moving to the county. Well, uh, safe, uh, a safe peasant is a productive peasant. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's, that's not too much money. Gain prestige as well. All right, so things are going well in the realm. I'm glad that we have a grandson already. Uh, that's always nice to see uh, that they're they're doing the damn thing, having the children. Uh, very happy about that. I don't know how they're going to train him though. So yeah, it would be a good time for our character to die, if I'm being honest. Uh, with my illustrious education in all affairs of state and diplomacy, I should have no trouble finding the right way to endear myself to King Louis the Ninth. Well. Uh, we do have that very high diplomacy skill, or fairly high anyway. Uh, so maybe we want to go that way. Yeah, I think that's the way we'll go. I usually prefer those. They have more likely to chance of succeeding. Uh, and our diplomats were able to convince King Louis IX of what an honorable and trustworthy ruler I am. Awesome. So we increased our relations with our lord. Uh, we're at 46 now. I thought we were at 40 something before. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, another crusade. Or one of the, actually, one of the special crusades. Uh, the Northern Crusade. Uh, the, Tum the Teutonics marched towards Lithuanian lands to secure it for Christianity. The pagans have had too long to convert peaceably. Now they will take him by the sword. All right. Forward, men of God. Thugs attacked the spy master. Oh, we're the spy master. Yeah. <laughs> my investigation into the rumor or plot must have alerted someone. Armed thugs are breaking into my room. Uh, so, will I escape with my life? This is available because of our high martial skill. Do we have a high martial skill? We do not. Uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. 35% uh, chance that we'll get away. 50% chance we get wounded. 15% chance that we die. And did manage to survive, but we did get wounded. We're lucky to be alive. All right, so life is is already been kind of rough as the spy master of france uh so we do have the the northern crusade event here uh which i think we can pledge ourselves to to joining uh it feels like we're a bit too old to be going on crusade now i don't know it's like something i would prefer our son to do maybe our son will go i don't know let's, let's take a look and see what he's doing he's not doing anything else yeah go on crusade guy can't make him though unfortunately we can invite him to court so that we can give him a title uh I wonder if he'll accept. He would not accept. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense for him to, to accept. He needs to be staying here with his wife, having babies, of course. Uh, I am curious to see what he's currently currently doing. Oh, you can't see. Okay, only rulers can have these. That's right. Yeah, he's not a ruler. All right. Um, so, so yeah, I don't think he's going to end up going on Crusade, unfortunately. Uh, so, our chancellor is improved relations. Excellent. I didn't even know we were improving the relations. I have no idea what my council is doing. I don't really pay attention to them. It's not important. Uh, it's has nothing to do with the relationship with God. There are a few monasteries close by where the lay members of the Benedictine order frequently convene. Uh, as such, it is expected that every so often I attend... Okay, yes, we've seen this one before, and I will fulfill my duties as expected, of course. 
Uh, but yeah, still haven't found anybody to give these titles to, and we don't even have any other sons. That's typically I'd give them to. It's like a son or a brother or something, so they can cause me lots of trouble later in the future. Uh, so I have been at the monastery for a few days, and I think we've seen this event as well. Uh, so we're trying to figure out how to, to make friends with this guy. Uh, well, I think uh, discussing the Bible is typically a good option here with these, you know, more religious people. And that's what we often want to do. Uh, yeah, I don't think stewardship... Eh, stewardship is about where learning is. Uh, do Is there one for diplomacy? There is. Taking a stroll and simply enjoying a small talk is an option as well. Uh, but you know what? Our character wants to discuss the Bible. Every chance he gets, he talks about the Bible. Uh, and it looks like he did usurp the title. So we spent all that time making Louis our bestest pal and getting into his, his council. And then he lost. And now we have a new uh, leader, King Philip III, the Bewitched of France. Is he bewitched? Oh, he's possessed. Oh, Lord. This man is in the control of the devil. Oh, well, we cannot have that. What the fuck, man? Can I give him some spiritual guidance? <laughs> uh, so, he loses the trait Roth. <laughs> That's not, it's not the type of spiritual guidance I was looking to give. Um, yeah, that is serious, man. We have a possessed man in control of the kingdom. Huh. Well, well, well then. Um, so it's all back into France, with the exception of here. Uh, this is is not. Uh, it looks like they're. I have no under. Oh, okay, that's in the. Damn. So the HRE has moved into right into the center of France. Okay, so this is an issue, guys. It's a considerable issue because I am not. I'm not okay with uh, serving a king who is, is possessed. Uh, I feel like we have to do something about that. But I'm not entirely sure what we can do about it. Um, declaring freedom right now would, of course, result in, in a loss. Uh, there's no way we can win. Uh, I think we're going to have to do an independence faction and hope that others join. Uh, I wasn't looking for independence. That's not the type of, type of man we are. But I'm also not the type of man to serve such a, uh, a disgusting king, man. Look at him, just shameful. He's in, he's in control of the devil. Yeah, I think we definitely have to seek independence. I mean, maybe there's another uh, faction that would have made more sense. Like somebody else for for the throne. I suppose we could have put somebody else there. Uh, maybe that would have made more sense, actually, since we're not really that type. Hmm. And maybe we might have more people willing to accept it as well, uh, joining us. Let's just see who's the options for... Uh, to bring into the kingdom. Just take a look. Um, well, we can bring them back into power. I suppose that would make sense. I almost want to play, place uh, him back in power, though it seems he does not like us now. Oh, yes, because he's right here. Those are the few lands that he has. So, yeah, he's not a fan of us, so why would I want to? Well, if he was a king, I guess he wouldn't, wouldn't care anymore. Let me see what our other options are, guys. It does appear that Louis is the best option. Uh, the Count here, Count Robert, uh, yeah, he's got some issues. He's one-handed and one-legged, and he has an infection. I don't think he'd make for the best king. Uh, looking at Prince Alphonse, a fantastic choice, but he is a member of a holy order, uh, so I think he should remain true to his vows and stay in the holy order. Then we have two children. Uh, which wouldn't be wise. So yeah, he's the best option. And he, although he is excommunicated, uh, he's a mastermind theologian. Uh, he's zealous. He's just, I don't know. I feel like he's a good pick. So I think we should start a faction to uh, once again uh, make him uh, the, the king. Yeah, let's do that. And I, I would assume he would join the faction. And we'll have to see what happens there. But we can't have this current king sitting on the throne. Uh, though we had a good time, it doesn't seem that, oh, he doesn't even like it. All right, well, that's a shame. Anyone want to talk about the Bible? What's wrong with them? Uh, but yeah, I think that makes more sense than us trying to declare independence. Um, yeah, I, I don't know that our character would try and do that. I mean, he might with with such a bewitched with bewitched king, but it seems like that it'd be better uh, roleplay wise for us to instead focus on putting somebody else on the throne. Uh, so that's what we'll do, uh, and hopefully we succeed. We not cannot have this man as king. Uh, and perhaps it is time I asked Prince Louis to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way to get him to gain my trust. Yeah, we'll sway him over to us, especially because of the fact that I'm trying to make him king. And he was happy to oblige me. And we'll talk in private. I tried my best, but we simply couldn't come to an agreement about the modern tendency to underestimate the value of prayer and contemplation. Really? You think we'd be able to 
come to some kind of agreement, uh, surely you can find common ground. So having that high diplomacy trait does help us with these events quite a bit. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm gonna try and try and make friends with this guy, with good old Louis. And as of right now, we have a negative nine opinion with him, and that's largely because he wants our counties. Uh, once again, once he became a king, he would no longer have such desires. Uh, so we can seek treatment for our cancer. I don't know that that's really necessary, honestly. Uh, we can do a 200 donation to our liege. I don't know why we'd want to do that. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. Um, we could donate to charity. That seems like a good waste of money. Um, seems like something we would do. Uh, and that would give us 100 devotion as well uh, for increasing this here, which needs to be at 1,000. We're almost there. Yeah, that's not bad. You know what? We're just going to wait to do that, I think. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and build some stuff. Uh, we haven't built anything in a while. Uh, let's build... I mean, we're never going to be able to do this. This is 311 months away. It's quite quite a ways away. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and see if there's anything to build here. It doesn't look like we have the money. Looks like everything's 415 gold or so. Uh, nothing we can do here either. Uh, we can take a look here. Yeah, it looks like we're just short. It's about 400-something gold to be able to really get anything done. Uh, so, we won't be able to build anything. We'll just set on our money for now, I suppose. It's fine. Just taking a look at her son, uh, seeing how things are going with him, making sure his traits are respectable still. Looks like he's still looking good. Uh, he's 24 years old as of now, uh, and his son is two, her grandson. Uh, and Lord of France, oh, okay, so he can now revoke titles. All right, well, that's not good. Uh, every time I reject one of the desirable women who throws themselves in my way, the others increase their efforts. Do they wish for me to burn in hell? Uh, we will not give in to temptation, or we can say, God, please save my soul. Oh, is then then she's, like, convinced that we're the one for her? <laughs> uh, so obviously we're going to say, God, please save my soul. Uh, yeah, I think it's interesting that she's going to, uh, yeah, be convinced that she wants, wants me. Uh, and she's charitable. Oh, she's very ambitious. I see. It's a lowborn woman here. Maybe we should marry her. Or not marry us marry her, but arrange for her to be married to somebody. I think we should. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we're gonna arrange a marriage uh, for her, probably with, I would assume it's somebody in her court, I guess. Uh, I guess that'd make sense, and then we can just do it this way. Uh, arrange for marriage, and we'll just find somebody, somebody who's been loyal to us. He, she's 18. Um, I can't have him. Sorry, my man. <laughs> I want to give you a wife. You know what? That's the only option. Everybody here is, like, incredibly old. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's give Gilbert a nice young wife. We should have given him a wife a long time ago. I feel kind of bad about this. So let's give him that wife, and that maybe that'll keep her distracted so she leaves me alone. Uh, for a long while now, you have not felt the presence of Jesus in your thoughts. You're starting to wonder whether there really is any truth in the Bible, or if perhaps it's just an old book written by clever liars. It must be so. Jesus is dead. We'll lose his zealous trait. Or these blasphemous feelings will soon pass. Yes, that's what we're going to do. They will pass. Um, we're still wounded as well. Uh, where'd the, the depressed trait go? Oh, it was a 30% chance. Okay, so we didn't get it. Well, that's good. Um, looks like King Philip has been excommunicated. Justly so. Yes, I think uh, very justly so. Let's take a look at our faction. See if we got any support here yet. No, unfortunately not. Uh, nobody has supported it. Uh, I introduced a bard to King Philip today, and, he, and I do hope he liked his poetry and songs. Okay. Um, King Philip III, distasteful, distasteful behavior disgusts me. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why that happened. We're not swaying him. Just random event, I suppose. Uh, and possible rank up in society. Excellent. Look at that. So we can go to the next rank, which will give us the power to invite a holy aesthetic. Uh, enables you to invite a learned member of the order to your court. Or we can teach virtues as well. Any virtues we have. Okay, yeah, let's let's rank up. And another thing, we'll go ahead and let the rank, get the rank first. But I think we might look at our son and see if there's anything we can teach him. Maybe get rid of one of his, I don't know if he has any negative traits. Uh, so we have ranked up, excellent. Let's just take a look at our son and see if there's anything we can do here. Uh, maybe not, maybe not, because maybe because he's not in our court. I don't think he can uh, for that reason. Yeah, I don't know that you can do it with people who, or they might actually have to be in your realm perhaps. Uh, we could get the excommunication lifted on him, and that would work. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, before I do that, though, let me see if there's anything else we want to do here. We can request a claim uh, from the from the Pope here, but yeah, we don't want to do that. Uh, see if there's anything else. 
might want to do with him. No. Let's have the excommunication lifted by the Pope. Uh, we have good sway with the Pope. We're one of the holiest men in the realm, of course. Uh, so, so yeah, we should also get an opinion boost with him, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because we helped him get, yeah, lifted excommunication plus 15. Just trying to help him get back on the, on his rightful throne. Uh, so far, little success. It seems there's actually a movement for another king now, Prince Robert. All right, uh, and this is the Duke of Picardy. Oh, well... That's a shame. You should have joined this one. It does seem that we now have uh, Prince Louis is now a member. Uh, so now we have plenty enough strength uh, to make this happen uh, against the king here. Um, just taking a look at... Uh, we really need to get somebody else to join the faction, honestly. Uh, yeah, we really need to get somebody in here. Uh, but Because I don't think we would win uh, by ourselves. So let's just wait. We'll buy our time. We don't have a lot of time, though. Of course, we're an older man. Uh, and... It's this. You have impressed us all with your noble rule and adherence to the rule of St. Ben. As a reward, your recent advancement of the rank of... Okay, I've sent you... Oh, you got figure bones. Okay, well, thank you. All right, so let me just take a look at our treasury. All right, so remember, we have the School of St. Joseph already. This is quality four. We get monthly piety uh, point, plus point ten with the same religion point, opinion plus point, uh, three. Uh, this gives us a uh, prestige, point twenty-five prestige, and plus point twenty-five piety. All right, well, that's even better. Excellent. So we'll be able to increase our piety. Uh, piety is currently at 2,883. Not bad at all. Uh, I wonder if... Yeah, I almost feel like I should cancel that ambition. Want to acquire a title. I don't see us acquiring a title anytime soon. Um, yeah. I think we'll just leave it no ambition. That's fine for right now. Or maybe I should write a letter to Prince Louis to try to convince him of my good intentions. Uh, yeah, let's do... Friendship between us will benefit both our realms. Just continue trying to make friends with him. And he wrote me back informing that he is an absolute agreement. Good relations are a necessi necessity between rulers as wise as us. All right, excellent. So once again, we have increased our relations with him. We have him at 16 now. We're going to be the best of the pals in no time. And the old wound has finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar uh, behind. So we are now scarred, but that, of course, increases prestige and not bad at all. We've got that scar across our face. All right, that was... Where, how did we get that scar again? I don't even remember how we got injured. Uh, oh, yes, those men attacked us while we were spy master. Damn them. We're still a master of the horse of, of France. That does give us a little bit of revenue, I believe. And it looks like we lost our marshal. Did he die? Oh, yep, he died of cancer. All right. So we need to appoint a new marshal. That's a shame. I liked him. I think we had just arranged marriage for him as well. Well, that sucks. He gets married and then he, he dies. <laughs> That's rough. All right, so let's do... I think we'll probably do this this mayor here. Yeah, he's the best choice, honestly. And let's have him continue to train troops. During his visit to my court, the Chancellor of France, Duke Raymond, has really convinced me of what a benevolent and peaceful ruler his liege, King Philip III of France is. So it looks like King Philip has sent his chancellor to our court to try and improve our opinion of him because we don't like this guy who succeeds to the throne when he dies like who's gonna who's set to inherit i wonder is this yeah i don't know who this guy is oh okay that's his son i, I thought all his kids were dead oh those i'm looking at i'm looking at siblings i'm an idiot uh so this is his son here is he a better fit oh he is not a better fit yeah, we just cannot have this this line of the family on the throne, man. Uh, we've got to deal with this. Yeah, I'm not pleased with our current ruler. Let's go ahead and turn this up to speed five. Uh, let this fly a little bit quicker. And we've got another mission. And let's take a look at what it is. He does want us to donate to charity. I am absolutely fine with that. Yeah, let's go ahead and accept that mission. And we will do it right away. Uh, and we just got enough money where we could build something, too. I wouldn't pay attention to that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we need 2,000 devotion to, to rank up anyway. So it's good to get a mission completed. Uh, so that should be right here. So let's donate 100 gold to charity. That does grant us devotion as well. All right. Uh, the Benedictine Order has received your graciously donated gift. You have our thanks in addition to those whose lives will be greatly improved by charity. You're welcome. All right, so that should also complete our quest. A murmur was heard through the room when I judged the villain to death. It was just sent out. Okay, we got that event before. 
My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. As I have followed this holy path, I have noticed that my sense of ego and need for recognition has all but vanished. This change has helped me focus on things that really matter. Uh, so we are now humble. We're a humble man. All right, we're just laid out with the, the traits here. It's excellent. Uh, very, very good. So um, let me just take a look here at our society. Uh, we did complete that mission. Uh, so we're at 441 devotion. Uh, we have enough money to build something as well. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to build right over here. Uh, we're going to build... Oh, well, I do want to take a look and see what we have available to build here. It looks like barracks and stables uh, there as well. Let's build the barracks. All right. Just to continue to improve our lands for when our sun takes over. And that does look like it's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, unfortunately, uh, right now we're in quite the dilemma. We have a king who we are not willing to serve any further. Uh, and we're, we've got our faction going, but just no success, unfortunately. Uh, we are just nowhere near uh, powerful enough. I know that he's not very powerful himself. The king isn't. Uh, but without assistance, I mean, having to fight all these guys is just not going to work. Now he wants to appoint us as a, a count, uh, counselor. Maybe the best way to improve things is from the inside. I don't know, guys. I think we should accept. Uh, how else are we uh, going to be able to try and improve the... the royal court and we are not even in the royal court so yeah we're gonna go and take the the chancellor position see what good we can do there uh, maybe we can also convince some other people to join our faction because um, yeah we need need more power here uh, I wish this guy would have joined our faction instead of yeah I mean he's you know fairly powerful over there uh, you know with 39.1% uh, of our lieges manpower which Looks like our manpower is pretty good, man. We're at 4.69 thousand. That's not bad. Yeah, that's that's respectable. Uh, just taking a look at his uh, manpower, he has 8.33 thousand. Uh, so yeah, we wouldn't be able to do it alone. We need more more people to assist us. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You're enjoying the series so far. If you are, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys.